here, um, this bit will be the, pit, the bit where I'll set my pin. So I'll set next. And what I'll do is um, I'll select the include letters and symbol, symbols. Um, I've got my pin requirements here as well. So what I'm going to type in is just my pin. Again, I'll click OK. And ideally, this will say it's OK. It's all set. That's cool. And what I'll do is pick up the network straight away. So obviously, since I'm working from home, I'm not going to. I'm going to select no. Um, in future, I'll put something in place to get rid of that messages. Um, so the time zone's already sorted. Oh, the time zone has been sorted, so that's correct. And you'll see it like this. So obviously, it's done part of the process where it's already installed the applications for Office 365, which is great. Um, my OS version would be, if I was typing MS Info, it's Enterprise, it's 18363. So, because the device was on Windows 10 Pro, um, it's actually upgraded the license to 18, um, to enter, uh, from professional to enterprise, sorry. Um, you'll see this here. So, you notice that BitLock is already in encrypted. Um, that's pretty much on ROM, similar to what you get on um, um, with the Dell demo that I did um, yesterday. So same thing, all kicked in. So the Microsoft Intune's over there. If I go to settings and I go to accounts and I go to um, access work at school, you see that I'm connected to Azure AD. So when you see this, this is actually the main person who enrolls the device to the um, to Azure AD. Um, and this person will be the local administrator of the computer. So if I was to sign into a different account, which I'll show you soon. So just to, um, Keep going forward. Um, this is just a policy. It's the same stuff as what you saw in um, with the Dell. So if I was to log in as a different user, and you can see right there. So if I logged in, oh, I switch users for example, and I'll just switch user. I do have another test account that I do use. So you get this legal notice obviously when you do an autopilot, um, either Azure AD or hybrid. Azure AD. So I click OK and I'll select other user. And what I'll do here, I'll log in with my other account. So this is my pilot account that I use. And it's called Windows Auto. Uh, Windows, none has Windows Auto Pilot. And I'll just log in. So what I do, I do the same thing. Um, we go high. Because, because it hasn't received a policy, um, it's gonna show high. So until until it receives the policies, then um, obviously this won't come up again. And it will ask yourself for Windows Hub for Business. Um, you can obviously um, skip it if you want to. Um, so I'm just, for, for this reason, I'm just showing you that you can log in um, oh, for this reason. So I'll skip this one now because I'm not gonna really um, sell my account so normally if this was a shared pc and this person doesn't have mfa um this person can click the x and you can see right there something went wrong so on next startup you'll see um this pop up again so i'll skip it for now so if i so since i'm not since you can tell right here i'm not the local administrator of the computer and if i went to accounts and um and you can see right there, Science Administrator Change Device Management Settings. So if I was to run computer management as, as administrator, I will get prompted. So straight away, if I try logging in with Windows Autopilot, that's navitas.com, and followed by the password, It will not work because that computer or that account is not the owner who registered the device. So if I log in with my credentials, it will bring me true straight up because I'm the local administrator. And since I was the one who enrolled the device, this is what happens. Um, 
bit zero there to actually bomb into the computer management. So that, that, that way it's a good test to actually tell. Um, that is why sometimes it's actually quite good to use generic accounts or a solo account to actually enroll your device rather than um, if you want to put restrictions to a user, doesn't want them to install certain sort of stuff, we can do that. Uh, with computer management, we do have, um, we do have um, administrators. Um, they're mostly just all HQ accounts. So if we go administrators, you'll see a whole bunch of people show up eventually. So you see these ones. So these are ideally HQ accounts, so the HQ underscore. Um, so if I was to log in, so you can see that I got both. So if I was to log in and use my HQ account, which I can, it's not going to be HQ backslash your first or last name. It will be your, it will be HQ underscore your first or last name. That's now in test.com followed by your password. And then that way, it's a, it's a, it's a weird way of setting up, but for now this works fine. Um, so ideally this, this will load me to com, um, computer management as an administrator, which is great. We can make changes and so forth. So we're just going to go back straight into um, my other account. So under my uh, under the account that I registered here. So I'll just log in with my PIN instead. So obviously you got you got a number of options here. You can do an autopilot reset, you can log in as a PIN, you can also log in uh, manually. And you can see here, see right here that it's actually doing the OneDrive, um, the OneDrive syncing. So that means all my documents are syncing from OneDrive, my documents are there as well, my pictures. So it's the same thing as what you saw from the um, Dell demo that I did. So it's exactly the same stuff, it all works fine as well. So eventually this will kick in eventually and then, yes. And obviously, so for code management to actually eventually kick place, it does take a while. So what it does is that it will download all the apps and store the apps and stuff like that. Then eventually it will create a folder on the C drive called um, SC config MGR. So it's pretty much an like offline client that actually installs on the device. Then it talks to the cloud management gateway. So I'll follow up on this once it's all done. Thank you.